Welcome to the plastic product design. In the last video, we cover a detail of a plastic manufacturing and injection molding methods. Also, we had discussed about the core, cavity, concept of a slider and lifter. Different parts like a gate, runner and ejection system of a injection molding. Also, some design consideration for the tool or a mold design for injection molding machine. As we know that once the product get manufactured, there should be chance of a defect occurrence during the manufacturing. So basically what is the defect? The defect are nothing but the deviation from the design specification during the product resulting in the product defects. It means after manufacturing your part is having some deviation if we compare, if we compare with the design. So in today we are discussing about the injection molding defects. So today's content are introduction to the plastic defect, common defect when injection molding, then causes and preventation and molding condition. So injection molding defects are listed as flow lines or a jetting, sink mark, vacuum voids or bubble causes due to the water content, weld lines, short shots, warp edge or we can say the warping, burn marks, flashes, cracks and warp breakage controlling the mold, molded part dimensions. Let's see all the defects in the detail. First one that is the flow line. As the name indicate that during the injection molding the molten metal flow path is visible on your component surface after solidification. The flow line are strikes pattern or a line that shows upon your component. So in the image you can see this. So those are flow line and after solidification the partition between the two zones it can be indicated. The flow line shows a physical path and the cooling profile of the molten plastic as it flows into the injection mold tool cavity. So why does defects are caused? Due to the injection pressure and speed is too low, this defect will be caused. So that is the flow line defect are caused by varying speed at which the molten plastic flows into the cavity. So this is the major factor uh, due to which the different type of a defects will be found uh, in the injection molding or after, after solidification. So they also occurs when the plastic flows through the section with the varying wall thickness. So there is a possibility that the flow line will be occur uh, in your component where the varying thickness, varying wall thickness is available. When the injection speed is too low, the causing the plastic to solidify at a different speed. So definitely if there is a varying cross sections in your component then uh, the solidification or a rate of a solidification is a uh, different that's why uh, the flow line will be uh, the chance of a this defect uh, so how we can prevent um, this defect so first uh, that is the increasing in the injection speed and pressure to optimal level so this is the most important uh, preventation that we have to take care which will be ensure the cavities are filled properly so this is uh, I think uh, uh, most important while designing the tool. Then locate the gate at the correct position and shape properly. Then round corner and locations where the wall thickness changes to avoid the sudden change in the direction and a flow rate. So this is the total cause and preventation related to the flow line. The second defect that is the sink mark. The sink mark is simply a defect which um, found in a particular area of your component where the wall thickness is bigger. Uh, during the solidification at the some portion some depression found on your component surface. This depression is in the direction of solidification. So sink mark occur during the cooling process. If the thermal contraction or a shrinkage of the plastic cannot be compensated in this area. A sink mark is a local surface depression that typically occur in the molding uh, with the thicker sections or a location above the rib, bosses and internal 
fillets so you can see in the image so due to the solidification at the bigger area this contraction will be happens and the depression on your surface you you found the depression on your components surface so major we uh, at the sections uh, such as both the ribs then bosses internal fillets etc so why this defects are caused due to the low injection speed and uh, packing pressure then short hold time or a cooling time so uh, if you, you are not proper cooling um, uh, method or a proper cooling system then thus defects will be causes then localized geometrical features so definitely if you are adding some engineering features or a geometric feature to your part then there should be an engineering presence uh, so designing of all the rib bosses uh, then um, uh, dog house other component should be uh, as per the standard uh, so whatever the wall thickness required we will see in the engineering feature lecture then a mold temperature is too high or a insufficient cooling so those defects will occur then insufficient pressure maintained so as we discussed uh, in a last uh, defect also and ins insufficient gate dimensions so it is also discussed so preventation how we can prevent so most important those defect will be avoided during the designing of your component whatever the thickness that will be recommended uh, it it has a different standard for every engineering feature such as for uh, dog house there is a different standard uh, for um, your locator there is a different standard for your bosses there is a different standard we will take a detailed lecture in the next videos so reduce the wall thickness deviation increase the injection pressure increase the cooling time if the mold temperature is suitable and increase the gate dimension especially as the, uh, especially thickness so those are some of preventation that you have to take care so we can see uh, the sink mark defect how it will be occurs so at this area you can see the poor design then sink mark will be occur and also uh, bubbles or a whites you can find out, found out at this higher uh, or a bigger wall thickness so improved design is that you you uh, you will provide one step there or you can you can improve your design so sink mark will be avoided by using the design considerations so those are few of a standard while designing the rib then bosses uh, bosses with different wall thicknesses so those are some important ratios relations between height angle then dimensions radia width thickness so we will discuss in a uh, in a detail in a next lecture for this so the next defect that is the vacuum void or a bubble cause due to the water content so mainly this defect will be occur due to the moisture present in your raw material plastic uh, also it also we know that uh, during the injection molding there is a process of a preheating your raw material that is it means uh, your material plastic material whatever you are using it will be preheated uh, basically to remove the moisture content in your material so if that process uh, is not done by properly then chance of this uh, chance of a uh, vacuum voids or a uh, bubbles uh, found in your component uh, so vacuum void commonly occurs in the higher or a thick material sections so if you have a bigger uh, wall thickness component then definitely those defects will be occur so um, during the injection molding uh, the part where the molecules are at the outer layer or outer skin that will be cool faster than whatever the uh, molecules are at the center or a at the middle area of your higher wall thickness so due to this the internal parts or internal molecules are not able to cool faster 
so due to this the voids are formed so uh, let's see how uh, uh, it will be happens the the voids commonly occurs in the thick material section in the injection molded part when the molecules on the outer skin of the part cool and solidify faster than the molecules internal to the part if the part is not able to shrink inward due to the outside skin being frozen the molecules will be instant to pulled towards the surface of the part and creating the internal voids void so you can see in this image a small void uh, is uh, the small void is found or a large void at the higher wall thickness area so you have to take care that your part should be uh, having a equal wall thickness there should be not a varying wall thickness so uh, let's see the causes vacuum voids are often uh, caused by uneven solidification between the surface and the inner section then voids can also develop from a part that uh, cast from mold with the two havels uh, that are not correctly aligned then uh, decomposition by insufficient drying pellets as we already discussed then preventation the main preventation that insufficient uh, due to the insufficient pre dry of your component uh, of your material this defect will be occur so you have to dry sufficiently and the maintain the temperature of a hopper so that the equal solidification will be happen or a, uh, due to the maintaining the temperature uh, whatever the air bubbles or water bubbles uh, available in your material will be removed due to the temperature so the next defect that is the weld line the weld line are actually more like a plane or a line that appears in the part where the molten plastic meet each other as they flow from the two different part of the mold uh, so in the image you can see so those are nothing but the weld line it will be appears on your part surface so why these are called so why those are happens so unsuitable cylinder temperature then insufficient injection speed unsuitable mold temperature no venting in the cavity and preventation uh, resigned tem uh, temperature of the mold or a molten plastic then increase the injection speed adjust the design of the flow pa pattern to be single source flow then uh, switch a less viscous plastic uh, or one with the lower melting temperature so the next one that is the short molding or a short shot so it is very simple uh, this short molding means that the molten plastic uh, due to some reasons uh, it is not fully occupied the mold cavity or a cavities so resulting in the portion where there is no any plastic in your component so the finished product becomes uh, uh, deficient because it is not completed or it is incompleted so in the image you can see due to the uh, due to some restrictions uh, inside the cavity some portion of your component is not filled with the plastic so prevent prevention for this uh, the select the less viscous plastic with the higher low higher flow ability this plastic fill uh, will be filled with the hardest to reach cavities increase the mold or a melt temperature so that increase the flow ability uh, according to the uh, account of uh, account for the gas gas generation by designing the mold so that the gas is not uh, trapped within the mold and it's properly vented so uh, from this point you can see due to some presence here in the cavity this uh, this defect will be occurs uh, increase the material feed in the mold machine so you have to you have to take care about uh, how from how much speed you are uh, feeding uh, next one that is the warpage so this is uh, mostly happens uh, where the length of your uh, component is uh, much more longer uh, so warpage or a warping is defy is deformation that occurs when there is a uneven shrinkage in the uh, in the different part of the mold component this result uh, is a 
twisted uneven or a bent shape where one of uh, one was not indented simply the change in the shape is nothing but the warp edge so causes uh, the warp edge is usually caused by uh, non uniform cooling of the mold material then different cooling rate in the different part of the mold uh, you have to take some preventions that is ensure that the cooling time is sufficiently long and that uh, that it uh, slow uh, slow enough to avoid the development of a residual stresses being locked into the part then design of the mold with a ununiform wall thickness next defect that is the burn mark so burn mark called discoloration usually rust color that appears on the surface of the injection molded part causes due to the extra heating and high temperature of the tooling prevention uh, controlling on the speed and temperature of the molten metal and the tool temperature so you can see the burn marks let's see the flashes the flash is a mold defect that occur when some molten plastic escape from the mold cavity the typically root of escape uh, are through the parting line or a ejection pin locator this extrusion uh, this extrusion cools and uh, remains attached to the finished component or a finished part the flashes can be occur when the mold is not Uh, clamped well, clamped well, or together with enough force. Increase the clamp pressure to ensure that the mold pressure uh, or a mold part uh, remain shut during the shot. So you can see uh, in the image all the flashes. We will conclude here. If you have any doubt, any questions, or queries related to the plastic product design or a plastic defect that we discussed in this video. you can put it all into the comment sections if required we can communicate via mail or a telephone so thank you guys let's summarize once again today we discussed about the different important plastic defects its causes and prevention guys keep in the touch that we can share more technical knowledge to you that we have uh, related to the plastic product design and also some automobile knowledge uh, so guys if you are not subscribed let's subscribe it hit the bell icon like and share our videos